We have all become used to the Secretary of State avoiding um, answering any kind of direct question or actively engaging in any of the serious issues which have to do with the destruction of the welfare state and the total and utter incompetence of his department by opting for a self-serving, sanctimonious sermon as opposed to any direct speech. The Secretary of State, who has stood at that dispatch box, I'm going back now a very long way, I, I seem to recall, <laughs> avowedly taking exclusive responsibility for the delivery of everything from IT systems to universal credit to taking people out of poverty when in fact what he has actually done and plunged thousands and thousands of our fellow systems into the most abject penury and still he managed today to avoid any kind of reference to the realities of the situation for all those people who when Atos was had their contract renewed for the work capability assessment many, many months ago. <clears throat> and I can distinctly remember um, the select committee being really quite forensic in examining ATOS as to where they would prioritise, as the government, as the Secretary of State had told us they would do, the needs of disabled and vulnerable people, particularly those with mental health difficulties. And the confirmation was given to us by ATOS that, yes, this was going to be an absolute target for them. There would be champions for people with mental health difficulties. There would be detailed individual examination of every single individual who came forward for a work capability assessment. And despite the Harrington changes to which the Secretary of State referred, there have been no marked improvements. We've already heard the figures of people who are waiting for ESA. I will give a precise example of just how chaotic the system is. One of my constituents, paraplegic, placed on ESA. Another constituent, 26 years old, with the mental capacity of a six-year-old, who is consistently having to go for work capability assessments. And I find it absolutely impossible to believe that members sitting opposite have no constituent who comes to them with similar or even worse situations. And yet members opposite find the points that were made by my right honourable friend from the front bench as hilarious. They find it really, really funny that we have seen this explosion in food banks where people who are working, and I would just point out to the Secretary of State, that he furnished absolutely no evidence, nor did any member sitting opposite, that the jobs which they are trumpeting that have been created during his sovereignty of the Department of Work and Pensions are actually created by his policies. There are other members of his government who trumpet that these new jobs that are being created are being created by the private sector. One certain thing in an uncertain world is that there are people who are waiting to have their appeals heard. 48% I'm talking now about ESA. I didn't want anybody to be under any kind of confusion. 48% of appeals are upheld. We are seeing people on ESA who are waiting months before their appeals will be heard, and during that period they are either told to apply for job seekers allowance, which they cannot do because they have been told they are unfit for work, and they are absolutely without any kind of financial support at all. As my honourable friend said, we are looking at a, a welfare state which was created to protect people from actually falling through the cracks. What this particular Secretary of State, what this particular department is doing is pushing people through those cracks and hoping that the rest of the country won't notice that they've disappeared. Well, I believe that the rest of the country is noticing that these people are disappearing, that it is the most vulnerable in our society who are being punished. And it is a shame and an utter disgrace that the Secretary of State, who, as I say, has appointed himself some kind of... At some point, I'm pretty certain he would like to be able to claim that he can walk on water. He can't. His department is not delivering any of the promises that were made, not to this side of the House, but to the people of this country. We are seeing people being maligned, being bad-mouthed, being presented to the country as though 
though plenty of jobs out there for, ham, for them to have, but they're too idle to ever take them. That is not the case, as members on that side of the House know, and certainly as the Secretary of State should know, but perhaps it is that he's floating so high on his self-appointed sanctity that he's forgotten what is actually happening out there in this country as a direct result of his incompetence and his failure to accept his responsibility. Yeah.